there is something that all cleanup styles have in common. All right, so when it comes to nail polish cleanup, there's a bunch of ways to do it, okay? There's never just one way. You can use a cleanup brush, which as you guys know, it's one of my favorite things to do. You can do the Brazilian manicure style, which you clean up with the stick, which also you can do with a wooden stick. You can clean up with your own nail. And some people don't even care about cleanup. They're like, once I take a shower, it's gonna go away and it's fine. Which is true, but not entirely. So there is something that all cleanup styles have in common. And that is the key. You need to make sure you separate the polish that's on the nail from the polish that's on the skin. Even if you don't even wanna clean up the skin, you need to separate it. Let me tell you why. The nail grows this way, right? So as the nail is growing, if you leave polish stuck on the skin, let's say that it doesn't go away with a shower because it's not up here, it's just a little bit. As the nail grows, it's pulling, okay, that paint. And what's gonna happen is gonna lift from the skin and it quite possibly could take it to take the polish that's on the nail as it grows. And additionally, you know, let's say that you shower that same day and clean up most of it, as the polish that's on the skin goes in the shower or doing dishes or whatever, it could bring with it the one that's on the nail. You don't want that, right? So you wanna create a separation between the skin and the nail so that even if you don't clean it up and you go shower, the paint that's on the skin goes and doesn't alter, you know, the one that's on the nail. So let me show you. All right, let's say that you're painting your nails and you want to do the whole Brazilian thing, which is fine. You could do that. I have a whole video. I'm going to link it up here on this topic that you really don't want any gaps. So you paint, doesn't matter if things get on your skin. You just really, really want no gap. This is fine. But if you let this dry and you go in the shower, what's going to happen? All this polish that's pulling at the skin is going to lift and take with it the one from the nail. So what you want to do is, let me get a little cut in here to clean up. You want to create separation between the skin and the nail, okay? Let's say that you are not even going to clean it up. You need to create separation. This is also why the Brazilian cleanup works so well, okay? You see them, they put cotton on the other end of the stick and they clean up and it only takes the one of the skin. That is because they have created a separation. You know, this polish that's on the nail, and the one that's on the skin is no longer attached. So when you take this one, okay, I'm not gonna do it here, but actually I should do it, hold on. I haven't done this in so many years that I'm probably gonna butcher it, but you get the point. You just basically roll. You can do this with a wooden stick as well. Um, that's why the Brazilian cleanup works because they create a barrier. So then when they clean up, I need more cotton here. Please don't come for me, the Brazilians in the comments, but you know what I'm saying? As you're cleaning up, the reason why it works is because it's not attached to the nail. The polish, there's a separation, okay? Now, that's one way. You can do it with a Brazilian aluminum or whatever material this is, stick, or you can do it with a wooden stick, just the same, okay? I like this one because it doesn't go dull, it's metal. I bought it on eBay, I'll link it down below. That's one way. Another way that you can do it, as you guys know, is I like my cleanup brush, okay? Okay, remember, get your remover on the brush and then you wanna tap it lightly against the paper to remove the excess. And when you clean up, okay, you're basically just creating that separation. And then you just clean up the rest, of course, but you don't even have to, like let's say you don't wanna clean up entirely, you just wanna create that separation so that when you wash your hands later, things can just fall off and not disturb the polish on the nail. Another way to clean up is, of course, you can use your other hand nail, but if you have a manicure, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna ruin the, the, the nail, right? Let's say that you already painted your thumb. You can just clean up this way, just create the separation, even if it's not perfect. You basically just wanna make sure that the, what's on the nail is encapsulated, like it's on its own, okay? Thank you so much for coming to this video. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.